You were an industry promo guy who worked at a lot of labels. Do you feel like that helped with your musical career? Oh, yeah. It was my college. I tell people that all the time. I tell people all the time, if there's something that you want to do, you you, you first must get around it. Um, um, if, if you want to know about rap, mm -hmm. if that's your thing, you you must get around it, you know, or, or hip hop. Let me say hip hop, but not rap, right? Hip hop. Then you, you must kind of encompass your life around it, indulge yourself completely in it, submerge yourself in it. You know, that was what I did in the club scene and the dance scene and all these scenes, you know, going, taking that trip with X-Clan to New York. It was me, unbeknownst to me at the time, it was me just submerging myself in what I wanted and what I wanted to do. Yeah, getting those 10,000 hours, getting those 10,000 10, Gladwellian hours in. Exactly. Yeah. Shout out to Malcolm Gladwell, right? Um, so really doing that. And, um, and then eventually... When now I have a baby and I got to make money, right? And I want to be an artist and I want to put out music and I want to instinctively, I don't know, it has to only be the, the, the providence of God, told me, okay, you dropped out of high school early because you had a child, mm -hmm. you had to start working, you're not in college, you want to do music. So you have to work yes. in this industry as and let that serve as your education and your college. Yeah. Which labels did you work at? I worked, uh, first off, I worked at Def Jam for five years. Mm -hmm. I went from being a, a, a unpaid street promoter to um, the, the West Coast Regional Rep Promotions uh, Manager for Mix Show Radio. Mm -hmm. um, and that was in a five, almost six year time. That was in the, the era of Lear Cohen, mm -hmm. Russell Simmons, and Kevin Lyles. Mm -hmm. Kevin Lyles, I... Um, I, it almost, I get choked up every time I say his name, um, because he, he's actually in, in the first chapter of my book, I write about him. He was the first person that believed in me, um, as a, a businessman, yeah. meaning that he hired me and paid me a lot of money. He allowed me to manage a tour. He gave, made me a tour manager. He made me a promotions manager. Wow. And when I put out my first record, so you're going to make me cry. When I put out my first record, mm -hmm. he put my first record in BDS. Wow. The rules. He invited me to his penthouse in West Hollywood at the time. And he he said, oh, so I hear you're making records. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he said, you're not out there uh, promoting your record while you're supposed to be promoting my record. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like Kevin Lyle. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look at him now, right? What a good guy. He gave High Tech a deal. Um, and he's always been, I've never done business with him, but he's always been super supportive in ways that he can be. In my opinion, and if you look at him now, just a sidebar for Kevin Lyles, and I hope he sees this. If you look at him now, he is the culture. Mm. He yeah. is the Russell Simmons of this era for these yeah. kids, man. He is that. You're right. You're right. He is that. You're right. He's responsible for the biggest names. I mean, him and him and Coach K, of course. But I mean, you see what I'm saying as far yeah. as his what 300 is done. Yeah, come on.